Hi, Landel. How are you tonight? Doing well, and you? I'm doing great. We're excited to have you on the green carpet tonight. I'm glad to be here. Well, it's wonderful to have you. So one of the things that 4-H does is grow leaders. In your opinion, as a parent, I just met your three girls. They're gorgeous, beautiful, super talented. Very You're very kind. Well, they're sweet. They're, they have a great dad, too. So for your girls, what, what are the things that you want, and for not just for your girls, but for all young people, and how does 4-H fit into that big grand scheme? You, you know, the, the, the thing that I noticed about 4-H from the very beginning was that kids carry themselves with self-confidence, respect. They look parents and, and adults in the eye. They shake their hand. And you can tell that already they're developing those characteristics of leadership that are going to be so important in our communities. I mean, what more, a parent always wants that for their kids. And, of course, we want that for all kids. And it's sorely needed in the nation right now are kids who can demonstrate leadership characteristics and work as a team in the community. 4-H teaches all of those skills. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible organization. I happen to agree with that. <laughs> I'm sure everybody here does. Right. So you're chairman of the National 4-H Board of Trustees. How has that been, and what are you looking to do to make 4-H even better? Well, one, I'm, I'm very honored to be associated with this organization. I'm honored to serve on it and to try to help kids in whatever way I can, what little I can do. And right now, council is really working on what I would say three things. Our role in this tremendous system of 4-H, which exists in land-grant universities and extension, uh, the Department of Agriculture, and then private companies. Our role is to convene, to make everyone in the, in the group talk. Our role is to build a brand and, and then to give voice to that brand. And it's also to build these public-private partnerships. So we'll bring private companies to this fabulous 4-H machine, show them what we can do for children, and let them help invest with us and, and right, spread it. So that's, that's the thing that council's really working on right now with an end goal of reaching more kids than we reach today. Today we reach about 6 million kids. We're trying to grow that to 10 million over the next couple of years. So we have a campaign that's, in effect, just trying to grow our numbers because we know the tremendous impact we have on children. So it's one, council does those three things, but most importantly, to grow the number of kids that we touch every day. Absolutely. And you're doing a fantastic job as our chairman of the board. We are in great hands. But can you tell everybody what is your involvement in 4-H and how did you get to the position that you are today? Sure. It's interesting. I was not a 4-H'er. I wish I had been. Uh, but I came to it through, I worked for Time Warner, and we saw a dramatic shortfall in the number of engineers in the nation. Not only just engineers in general, but engineers of color, female engineers. And we knew that the fix to that problem was not a short-term fix. So we started looking at children's organizations, and I looked at all of them. And I came to 4-H, and it's actually seven years ago today. Happy I anniversary! I, I attended the first gala in this building, and they had me when I walked down the stairs and met my first 4-H kid. And they looked me in the eye and shook my hand, and I knew I'd found the organization. So that's how I came to it through Time Warner. Uh, I've, I've since left Time Warner, but I didn't leave 4-H because the kids are so important and the work we're doing is so important. So that's how I came to it, and, and I'm here to stay, uh, as we would like to say. That was wonderful. We, we are so excited to have you. Please enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone, Landel. Uh, and thank you so much for being with us tonight. Please enjoy your evening. Thank you. You've been very kind. Thank you. Thank you.